I bought a 15,000 square foot warehouse to turn into my dream YouTube studio. It's huge, it's a bit overwhelming, and it needs a lot of work. In my last video in this series, I just started to scratch the surface. It was mostly cleaning, painting, more cleaning, starting to build a set, and did I mention cleaning? Now, in this video, with a little help from my friends, we're gonna continue turning this abandoned warehouse into my dream studio. All right, gang. It's time to paint these set walls. In the last episode, we built these guys out. Went to Home Depot this morning, got some classic 10 Hun colors, but let's lay down some plastic and paint these walls. We started out by prepping our work area for painting. By the way, right when we started doing this, the roofers showed up. Hopefully they can help me with some of my leak issues. I know from experience these deep teals and navies are gonna look great with my video lights and color grading. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, the walls are looking good. I went with a flat finish so they wouldn't reflect my video lights. It's time for a second coat, but there's one thing I know about being a YouTuber. You never film the second coat. So I'll see you in the next segment. Okay, the set is coming along. So I have a little plan. What I'd like to do is stretch boards over the top of it and make a very rudimentary frame and then lay sound blankets on top of that to control this crazy sound we have in here, at least in the set area. The 16's reach. I feel like I should have gone with the 10 foot set. These are eight foot walls. Let's see how close the wide angle has to be to not show the roof. It has to be really shitty. So pretend I'm sitting. A little bit further. This will be like tabletop shots. Blanket, son. With the wooden board stretched across the frame, we were able to use generic clamps to keep the sound blankets in place. I already had this rug and I was super pleasantly surprised that it was an exact fit when we laid it down but with the sound blanket roof, the set seemed even shorter. All right guys, it's a beautiful day and you will never guess who is here. All the way from New York City, my dear, dear friend. There he is. What's up, brother? What's up, Mike? Slow has arrived. What's up? Woo! If there's anybody in the world who loves nerding out about art stuff, nerding out about video gear, and transforming strange places into YouTube studios as much as me, it's my voice. I Slow. do, indeed. It's a guilty pleasure. Building, painting, <laughs> camera gear. <laughs> this whole place is that. <laughs> so I think we're gonna start with this little section over here. Let's build a green screen. <laughs> okay, so we wanna build the green screen wall on this wall right here. But as you can see, there's a bunch of pallets in the way. So step one is to move all these freaking boxes. That's why he flew me here. As soon as Slew stepped foot in the building, the whole vibe just changed. From nerding out about YouTube stuff to just being stupid and silly. I always have a good time when Slew's around. And he's one of my best friends. The plan was to attach 2x4s to the brick wall to build our green screen on top of. We used the Tapcon drill bit to get through the masonry and Tapcon screws to attach the wood to the cinder blocks. This drill officially makes the most annoying sound of all time. We're gonna put up one piece of drywall just to idiot-proof ourselves and make sure we're doing it right. And that's a jump by slew. <laughs> Let's go. We got our first piece of drywall up and thought it looked fine. Then a lot more wood and a lot more drilling and a lot more tap cons and a lot more anchors. And we got this wall finished up and the rest of the drywall laid out. And it went a lot better than I was expecting. So I'm really excited. I came down, flew this morning from New York. It was a little weird. He put me in his truck in the back trunk and we got here, I was blindfolded. There's like four other rooms we haven't been able to go in double locked, don't really know what's going on. Nick is in and out, getting really dirty every five minutes. He's getting more and more dirty. I don't know what's going on here, but um, I'll keep an eye out for you guys. Please help me, please help, please. If you're seeing this, subscribe to me and set out. All right, it is the next morning on the green screen project. Yes, we're wearing the same hoodie. Don't worry about it. Don't ask any questions, doesn't matter. We are going to tape the seams and mud it with the joint compound so that it will be a seamless green screen. Can you do some magic hands? A seamless green screen. <laughs> So we have mudded the wall twice, we've sanded it twice, we're about to give this baby a sponge bath. Me and Slew are gonna get all sensual with our drywall project. And then it'll be time for the luscious green paint. This one goes out to Gox, because I know he loves green. Oh yeah! I love you, Gox. So let's go ahead and wipe this thing down. Maybe I should do a sweet, sensual R&B song about sponging down the wall. We 
In the world's looking real grungy. grungy. Let me grab a nice wet spongy. spongy. Wipe it down, wipe it clean. Wipe it clean. Wipe it clean. Oh, I could do all types of things. Let it flow like it's cream. Get the dust off the seams. Baby, you my new green screen. You show me all types of things. All right, we have come to Home Depot for the 6,483rd time. We're getting green screen paint. We're, re we're doing other stuff, let's go. <laughs> when I went online to look up green screen paint, there's an actual professional product that's like 150 bucks a gallon. I was like, I don't know about all that, man. Let's just buy some green paint. Is that green screen green? Green screen paint. I used a very scientific method to choose the right color of green paint. Probably that one? Park picnic, baby. Can you put a tiny green screen image next to me? <laughs> now with our color secured, it was time to go back to the studio and paint our wall. Mission successful. Yo, have you guys heard about this new paint? It's called Instamural. Let's try it out. Introducing our new premium paint, Instamural. I'm excited to try this Instamural out. What used to take days or even weeks now takes moments with Instamural. Wow, I'm never painting murals the old way again. Thanks, Instamural! We got one more. We got one more stop of dynamic range, I can one tell. More. Just I one, though. One. Gigantic shout out to Slew for coming all the way out here to help me with my freaking studio. What a homie. What Bro, a swell guy. But I told him, you are not allowed to leave here without blessing my YouTube studio with your sick art because he is an artist and a YouTuber who is super dope. I think I'm just trying to do a quick little one hour banger. I did a quick sketch on my iPad and just two colors, a fill white with like a one outline. Real clean, real simple, real swag. Very beautiful. Yes. Paint away, my friend. Thanks, brother. Have at it. Banger, I'm hyped. My little baby. Just so cool, the concrete texture behind it, very graffiti-esque. Two colors, can't, can't knock it. So simple, so clean. Okay, now that the green screen is done, let's go ahead and do this. Hear ye, hear ye, Town Square billboard for sale. Had it. Good morrow. Are you here for the Town Square billboard? Oh, oh hell no. no. What? Yeah, I got Squarespace. <laughs> Squarespace? Yeah, Squarespace is a website where you can build a website. You can reach a whole heck of a lot more people than an old Town Square billboard. No! What is a website? A website That's... is a place on the internet where you can put your art, you can do an e-commerce store, you can put a blog, you can reach just so many people and with Squarespace they make it super easy they got these award-winning templates and all you got to do is put your content into their beautiful templates and boom you got a website what about my billboard billboards old news buddy old pal do you have automatic image scaling no looks like just one size right here do you have a member exclusive area on your billboard no I think it's not but Squarespace has all those things and more but that sounds very difficult no with Squarespace it's easy really? and guess what if you ever do run into any issues, they got 24-7 customer support to help you out. 24-7? That's preposterous. Yeah, what kind of customer support you got for your piece of wood? Several people in the town will see this. Yeah, well, thousands will see your website. So, what are you waiting for? It's time for you to have a beautiful website. Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 1000. 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Theoretically, I can make a Squarespace website to sell my billboards. Now you're thinking, partner. Thanks, Thanks Squarespace. Squarespace. <laughs> All right, gang. So I messed up or I changed my mind or I came to a realization. We have built the set, we've painted it, we put some cool sound blankets on the roof. And now that all of that is done, it's too short. These are eight foot walls. I should have made them 10 foot walls from the beginning, but I feel like if it's this short, it's gonna vastly limit the amount of shots that we can do comfortably without it just looking like a blatant set. So we are gonna build two foot extension additions, put them on to the top of this thing and turn this eight foot set into a 10 foot set which is what we should have done from the beginning so we have to do all the work <laughs> all over again but we're learning we learn every day so let's extend the set 
Hello, welcome back to Nick's Woodworking Channel where today we're gonna build some more rectangles. I got all my stuff right there on this handy little cart. While I was busy editing videos that you guys have probably seen or videos that will come out in the future, Nikki's bored, so she decided to help. Nick was hard at work building the set extensions. It's recording. He basically made three tiny little baby two-foot walls. Aren't they so cute? So precious. Hi, okay, good news. You may remember in the last video I was talking about this whole section of the building leaking. Well, some roofers came out, climbed up on the roof, they patched a bunch of stuff which I had zero faith in working. I thought it was gonna be like finding a needle in a haystack to find this leak in my roof. But they knocked it out of the park and we have had zero moisture issues since they came. Hooray! Round of applause for the roofers, that's so sick. But now I want to move the entire set that we built to this section of the warehouse right here. It'll be a little bit more out of the way. And when we want to do that epic long shot of the warehouse, there won't be a random set there. It'll kill two birds with one stone. So that's what we're gonna do now. So in my last studio, something that was really cool is that all of my lights were voice activated. So I have these Wi-Fi plugs and I just wanna have some fun and like play around with lights. So because this studio is way bigger, it requires a lot more lights. So I went a little bit crazy. This guy's new, this guy's new. I don't know, I got like six lights here and then uh, up front, I'm really excited about these guys. So I also got these light panel lights. These P60Xs go from warm white to cool white, but then these these guys are full RGB, so they're definitely gonna bring some vibiness to the studio. I'm excited to play around with all this stuff. I love this stuff. Ooh, ah, let's go have some light fun. Perfect. Now, before you start painting with light, you need a very dark canvas to splash your colors around. So let's go ahead and kill these lights. Now we're vibing out, baby. Oh, it's fine. I wasn't working over here or anything. I don't need any lights. It's fine. Bit of nice 5600 Calvin light in here so we can actually see what we're doing. Let there be lights. Oh, yeah. I love these lantern soft boxes. I can very easily spend a whole day just playing with lights. And in this new studio, I know this is just the beginning. I think we can just kind of light up the back a little bit. Is this the full RGB one or is this just the white one? This is just the white. Set to 5600, straight off the bat. These Amaran P60Cs are definitely a huge upgrade from my previous RGB lights. That's a decent amount of color. Yeah. Do you like all these vibey colorful lights? Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's blue. Yeah. Do you see a pink one? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, oh, nice guy. There's a pink one. Oh, yeah. Yay, you found it. Let's do like a warm yellow sunset vibes. That's pretty cool. Next is time to install the set extensions to make our eight foot walls, 10 foot walls. There was a bit of extra luon going past the top of the wall. So I used my reciprocal saw to trim that down. First piece attached. Let's do it again. More sawing. More nailing. We're getting there, baby. So we got this trim to hide the seams. And I added two by fours on the back to square up the two pieces. So this thing seems to have gotten a lot of pollen all over it from this door being open, because we're cool, smart guys. We're gonna sand it down and this joint never got sealed up. So we gotta put some uh, joint compound over that to try to not have a seam down the middle of our wall. What's really funny is that in just a few moments, you're gonna find out why almost all this work on the set extensions was completely worthless. Okay, hello gang. This is the set version 2.3.6.8 uh, in this firmware update. We have an extension going up another two feet. I now have 10 foot walls instead of eight foot walls. The idea was to use this trim to hide the janky seam, but that's freaking stupid. It's dumb. 
I don't like it. It looks janky. We're not doing janky here. We're doing awesome. So my new plan is inspired by, I was on a road trip up to Kalamazoo and I had to pee really bad and I popped into a Starbucks and they had these really beautiful wooden walls with lights shining through them. And I said, I want to do that. That's way better than this stupid ass trim we have up here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take some sheets of plywood. We're going to sand them. We're going to stain them. We're going to finish them. We're going to mount LEDs behind them. It's going to hide that seam while simultaneously extending our set another approximately two feet. This is going to be just the tallest set ever and I love that. So let's get some wood. Let's make this thing way less janky and I don't have a third thing to say so let's go. We removed the old trim and then screwed some two by fours on the wall as a base for our sheets of plywood to sit on later. All right what do we got? 181 and five eights. These 16 foot 2x4 should do the trick. Okay, I got my boards for my set. First things first, let's sand these things. Having this workshop area in the studio has come in so much more handy in the first few months than I ever would have imagined. I love having a separate place to get dirty and for the woodworking, and my tool game has legitimately gotten so strong since I moved into this place. After sanding, I laid out some empty Last Supper jigsaw puzzle shipping boxes as my makeshift drop cloth. Okay, I'm all sanded up. Now I'm gonna use this pre-stain wood conditioner to prep my wood before I stain it. Cause the last time I didn't do that and it was a little blotchy. So hopefully this will help, hopefully. Hopefully! After using this stuff for the first time, I'm definitely gonna always use the pre-stain conditioner on any of my staining projects. So many of you pros are probably saying duh, but I didn't even know this stuff existed until just recently. Also, my homie Devin is visiting me. He's a super dope dude. I've known him all the way since my days in Seattle. We used to share an art studio together. Anyway, he's a little shy on camera. He said he wants to be more of a background dude. Hey, what's up? I've totally had sex before. So if anyone says I haven't, I've done, I've done it. It's cool. <laughs> Okay, last night I did the stain preparer. Now it's time to hit this with summer oak wood stain. Wood stain on the wood grain. Wood stain on the grain! <laughs> I'm really glad I used that conditioner because I was getting a nice even finish with the wood stain. And I really like the color that I ended up choosing. Sometimes it's so nerve wracking to look at the label in the store and try and figure out the color. Okay, so I have this 3D geometric wall panel. It's kind of a sound panel, but really more of a piece of art. And it looks really good in the background of my set, but this is teal, my set is teal, and it just blends in too much. I'm looking for some contrast. I wanna pop, not a blend. So we're gonna change the color of this to make it look a little bit better in my new set. Let's go. Alrighty, it is the end of the day and I really wanna get this coat of polyurethane on there before we go home so it can dry overnight and these wood panels will be done. So we're gonna hit it with this uh, clear satin polyurethane and hopefully that'll just put the icing on the cake of these wood panels. So let's jump in and do that. Right behind me is my new and improved sound panel. It's orange now, we like that. But I'm just gonna take it that tiny little bit further and paint some of my classic moon waves on there. This textured surface was incredibly hard to paint clean lines on. Definitely not the best moon waves I've ever painted, but they do add that extra little bit of vibe and I like it. All right, so this is the moment that I've been waiting for. It's time to get these wood panels up on those walls, finish all the little bells and whistles, and turn this set to what I've been imagining in the future home of some epic 10 hundred videos. Let's do this. I grabbed some RGB strip lights and attached them to the underside of the two by fours that we had mounted on the wall for some nice future downlighting. Next, it was time to take our finished sheets of plywood and mount them to the two by fours with just a few screws. But you gotta be careful with that power drill when your lights are already installed. Ooh, I think you might be hitting the lights, bro. They just changed. They're like green from the screw point on, they're green. Oh, 
Luckily, I ordered one extra pack of RGB strip lights, which was incredibly lucky foresight. So I just replaced the busted ones. Ultimate vibes. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. That's so cool. That's awesome. We can have a wide angle camera all the way out here. And it still looks like a... You're only fitting in the center square right now. You got tons of room. Yeah. Before, it's like the camera had to be right, right here right. to not see shit going up, not be able to tell it was a set. Now it's time to reinstall our sound blanket roof, except this time, much, much higher. I think at this point, the walls are nearly 12 feet tall, and it's such a huge difference compared to those original eight foot walls. Buying this used scissor lift continues to be an excellent purchase as we clamp the sound blankets onto the 16 foot two by fours. Now it's time to move the rug into the set to really tie the room together. Now it's time to hang the art panel. We drilled a hole in the wall to hide the cord, then hung it up and watched it glow. It took like 20 minutes to decide where to hang my neon sign. Trying to determine where the neon sign goes. Let's see. That's like really cool because it's that so cool. readable. I mean, that looks really good too. I know, they all look good. I just need three of those. Okay, I would. <laughs> yeah, I guess my head would block it more there. Well, sit down. I thought you were gonna sit there. It looks cool on the side angle too because it makes it look bigger, you know? Yeah. This is a heavily edited conversation. We deliberated for quite some time. Gosh darn it. Gosh, it just looks cool everywhere. Yeah, those two I think look the coolest. Now that you have this here, it like adds to it. It's the only wall that doesn't have something on it. Yeah. But I don't know, should we just flip the coin? <laughs> I think you should do this wall. Okay. After talking about the neon sign for way too long, we finally hung it, drilled a hole in the wall to hide the cable, and then I started filling my shelving units with all my little knickknacks and doodads. Okay, so this is it. This is what we've been working so hard this whole video to achieve. The set is looking super swaggy. Sometimes I want that cozy, intimate shot depending on the video, and I don't want that giant warehouse shot. So this totally achieves that, and I love the way it turned out. Now the reverb is still giving us away. There's way too much reverb right now for the size of room that we're in, but we are gonna be working on some sound treatment. But I mean, I just have so much room in here. The table is even like outside of the set right now. It's like beyond the walls of the set, but it's still looks totally legit. Making this thing taller was so necessary to be able to get those kind of cool shots that I'm looking for. Now, I'm gonna close this video out by just giving you a lightning tour of everything else we've updated in this studio, just to show you where we're at. But before I do that, I just wanna say thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I wanna say a huge thank you to my patrons, and definitely check out my website, 1000art.com. I have a lot of really cool merch on there, such as the Last Supper puzzles. The Vivid Kingdom stuff is on there now. We finally finished the Kickstarter, and the Vivid Kingdom's playing cards are living on my website, so check that out. Okay, let me show you what we've officially done for the final current update of where the studio is at right now. This is the lightning tour. So this is the art supply studio gear corner. Bunch of stuff I need for videos, bunch of my art supplies. I got this husky rolling desk. I actually filmed the whole segment building this out, but the footage was really crappy and it was really boring, so I cut it. But it's cool. I just gotta show you the set again. These guys are pretty cool. Gear lockers, this side is video, lenses, batteries more batteries, tripods. I wanna keep the dust off of stuff. And then this side is audio. There's mics, lav mics, the drones in here, a bunch of miscellaneous video stuff. Super hyped on those. The green screen, don't look at that mural over there. That's the next video, shh, don't tell anybody. And then for the epic long warehouse shot, let's go. Clock in. baby. <laughs> Said one more time. The tool corner is ever evolving and ever growing and always messy. Did you guys know tools are awesome and having lots of them is the best thing ever? <laughs> Wood. And the spray paint collection is growing. The organization is getting stronger. We've added more milk crates. It's like I got a freaking spray paint shop here. Oh, you want frozen raspberry? Coming right up, sir. Okay, that's the end of the vlog. See ya.